I was at 35,124 push-ups. I did an additional 510 today. And now I'm at 35,634 out of a million. I did 51 sets of 10, and I gotta say, I feel good today. I broke this down into two parts. First, I did 300, and then I did 210. And in fact, I felt so good when I started the set of 210. It was like I was just flying. I even did one clapping push-up. Just one to see if I could. I didn't record it, so it's not going to go in the tally. But it's cool to know that I can do that. And I just felt so explosive doing these that... Well, I don't know. Hopefully I keep this going. I wanted to talk about accountability today because I've really been lacking in that department this year. And I can't talk about it without bringing up someone. And that is KSZ. I just want to say thank you, brother. You have been here commenting probably longer than anyone else on this channel. And for that, I am deep grateful. It's not easy to be in the fire. It's even harder to be in the fire, withstand it, stand there unflinching, and look at someone about to walk out and tell them, don't get out. Stay in the fire. It's not so bad in here. It reminds me of Michael Jordan. They say that Michael Jordan never asked his teammates to do something that he wouldn't do first. Always, he'd get it done. And when you've got someone like that around you, it feels like you could do anything. KSZ has been doing his own push-up challenge. One million push-ups. I know how daunting of a task that is, and to be able to be in the midst of that inferno, and he's left me some comments that they've been nice. He hasn't been mean about it or anything. He's just told me, I'd like to see more push-ups. I want to see you keep doing this, and I appreciate that because I am not always able to motivate myself, and I'm not always able to keep myself accountable. We have something in common, me and KSZ. I believe we were both inspired by Yuchiri. Yuchiri is doing a million push-ups, and he actually just recently hit... 400,000. That's a huge milestone. 40% of the way to a million is just phenomenal. That's impressive to say the very least. I mean, that is, what, 12 times more than I'm at right now? 11 and a half times more? That's a lot of push ups. Believe me, 35,000 is a lot. What he's done is almost unbelievable. It's remarkable. I really appreciate people who are able to keep others accountable because I believe that is one of the reasons why we're here on this earth, to help each other. A person alone cannot accomplish much. Four hands work much faster than two. And the place where the saying mastermind, that word, that comes from the gathering of two or more minds because two minds are greater than one. We check each other. We see errors in our ways. 
in other people's ways and we're able to adapt, develop, grow. That's how this society has been built all over the world. People all over the world working together, building up houses, stores, businesses, everything, factories. It all comes as a result of a group effort. It's astonishing. You don't see too many people nowadays who will do that, who will keep someone else accountable. And that's kind of a shame. I guess that means I've got to be one of them. You should be the change you want to see in the world, right? That's one of the things that I'm trying to do here with this channel is show the world that you can train every day. You can push yourself. You are not at your limit. You can do more. Try something new. Just try. If it doesn't work, so what? Try something else. Do it. Every single day, show up for yourself, show up for other people. Be accountable for your own actions and even for the actions of others. When you see someone around you fail, when you see them fall, recognize that you are responsible. You could have prevented that. Understand how. It's not easy to accept that kind of thing. But it gives you so much power in this world to be able to say, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. Here's how we move forward. This is what we can do. You take that responsibility. You take that burden off somebody's back. And that's how people can really flourish. Because it's much easier to carry someone else's burden. It's not easy to carry your own. It weighs you down. It's massive. But when someone else takes a little bit of that burden off your back... It's not so heavy, and it's not so heavy on them either. Now, you should never take the whole burden on. Like, I mean, imagine if I got mad at people because I didn't do a million push-ups. That's just ridiculous. It's so backwards. Yet, that's how people act. Some people, they act entitled. They act ignorant to the world. And maybe they are ignorant to the world. But that's not the type of person who becomes great. You don't become great by blaming others. You don't become great by pushing others down. You become great by taking on the burden of the world all those people around you. Take a little bit of their burden off them and they'll rise up. And when they rise, you'll come with them. That's how it works. It's a beautiful phenomenon. You actually become lighter when you take someone else's burden and you truly manage it. You truly stand up proud and hold it and say i'm not perfect but i'll do this for you we're in this together so be accountable for the things around you for the people around you be the change you want to see in this world one last thing I'd like to say, there's an interesting quote that I remember. I can't remember who said it exactly, but it goes something like this. A millionaire is good at making money, but a billionaire is good at making other people millionaires. Thank you for watching.